Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paper and I'm here today to colour with you. And I have this gorgeous stamp set. It's from Ellen Hudson. It's called Mondo Secura and it's a bouquet of flowers. And the good thing about having a bouquet stamped out already is there's no masking. Nice and easy. So I really want to watercolour this flower image but for some reason I decided that I wanted it to be on the oyster grey cardstock even more <laughs> so therefore I couldn't watercolour it not this time anyway so I've stamped it with my Misty just with some Memento Tuxedo Black because I want to use my Prismacolor pencils on this grey cardstock and it's going to be a subtle um, kind of look because I don't want the big um, bulb flowers but because I'm using my Prismacolor pencils you can get a little bit of bloom over the stamped portion of the image so what I usually like to do is actually re-stamp after I've finished my coloring and that's the great thing about the Misty. So I will mention all of the colors that I use today over at my blog and the link will be in the description below. I don't like to use blending solution much when I'm using pencils on a colored cardstock even though this is not really colored it's a really light gray but I don't like the way the blending solution often reacts with the cardstock but if you're not sure um, how it reacts it's best just to do a test piece and see what you think so if you've got a scrap piece of the same colored cardstock then you can just test it and you'll see here that I have tested my colors you might notice uh, there's some squiggles up in the top left corner of this cardstock that's just me testing which colors I want to use for this flower image and that's because I know I'm going to be cutting that portion of the cardstock away so sometimes I'll test it <laughs> on, on the section that I wanted to keep and I've done that before now so this time I made an effort to test it on the section that I'm not going to keep so luckily I didn't change my mind and I do cut that away a bit later on but we'll get to that soon when I don't use my blending solution what I do use is the pencils themselves to blend with each other now this is a very smooth cardstock so there's not a lot of tooth in the cardstock so I'm it's hard to tell but I'm not pressing very heavily on the pencils and I am using the white even though it's uh, grey cardstock I'm still using white the white pencil because I think you can really see that that does bring out the lightness of the petals these are, are basically um, like a pink with a white edge on them I'm colouring these secure flowers and my best advice is to come in with a dark colour at the very end and that's what I've done here even if you think it's too dark <laughs> give it a little try because it just adds that much extra dimension to your image and often I'll even come in with either a black or a really dark gray and I do um, do that a little bit later on in this with this image as well so what I decided to do today was something a little bit different I'm coloring in real time here for the first flower and now it's sped it up heaps <laughs> so this section is really fast but I thought at least I'm not sure if you want to see the whole coloring or just see one flower so let me know in the comments below because we don't have a lot of time in our lives and we don't have a lot of time to sit here and watch coloring when you could be coloring yourself <laughs> so I'm home now and really enjoying having my stuff around me again and I had a couple of questions about you know whether I took the right things with me when I went away and overall I would have to say that yes I did I pretty much used everything that I took I didn't use it as often as I wanted to but that's because we did a lot of kilometers in a fairly short time really and that was I worked out there that we went over 19,000 kilometers in three months so we had a lot of travel days and the roads are pretty bumpy so there was no coloring in the car for me 
<laughs> it wasn't happening. And I was actually doing some designing while I was in the car. I find that's a really good thing to do, to plan out car designs and ideas for um, classes and um, my Christmas. I've got another Christmas series coming up this year. If I get time to make that, that's fingers crossed. If I have a minute, I'd um, always enjoy doing that. And otherwise, I think I did miss my heat tool. But to be honest, the places where I could have used it, I didn't often have power anyway, <laughs> so I couldn't have used it. So it was probably a good decision not to take that with me. And the other thing was my um, stamps. I took more than I needed, but I knew I had to do, do some design team work. So that just gave me more options and I had the space, but I could have taken less stamps or the other thing was to stamp out more images that were ready to go and that way I could just color whenever I wanted. And in retrospect, I would have liked to have taken more Christmas images because Christmas cards is something that we make a lot of and um, I thought it would have been actually really smart to have taken quite a few of those and got them colored up ready to go. Anyway, we're heading off camping again next week. <laughs> so I'm going to take some Christmas images with me this time. And would you believe my computer just died? So I luckily had saved, edited and saved this video, but hadn't done the voiceover. So now my husband doesn't know it yet, but he's kindly donated his laptop to me yet again <laughs> until I get mine fixed. So now I've got to do that. And I haven't even used it for three months. It's so not fair. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe there's a mouse in there. <laughs> okay, so like I said, I have come in. I've finished all my fast speedy colouring now and added some of the highlights with a grey and uh, black pencil. And I've used some Onyx Black, Onyx Black ink here to re-stamp the image. And I think that just takes it to the next level. It's such a beautiful image, this. And I can't wait to watercolour it next. How pretty is that? Okay, like I said, I'm going to cut away the side portion of the card. The, card. the easiest way I find to do this is to use my Fiskars Shoreline paper trimmer, which has the guide wire in it. So I can just cut it to where, with the guide wire, uh, cutting tool I can just cut it to where I want and then I'll come back with my scissors and just fussy cut the edge for the rest of the image. There is a coordinating die for this I could have run it through my die cutting machine perhaps I don't know it might not have fitted I don't have one of the wider ones but if you did you could actually just cut a portion away with that but it was only a small bit it took me three minutes literally <laughs> Probably not even that. I've got some more of the Oyster Grey cardstock here and just attaching that to the base of my top fold portrait card. I've added some fun foam with some Be Creative tape to the actual flower panel and guess what? Heat and Boss Sentiment White on Black. Loving it. I've grabbed one from the Thinking of You stamp set from Alton U and kind of oddly placing it at the top because I wanted to. And that's my finished card for today. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll be back again real soon. Till next time, happy paper crafting and wish me luck with my computer. Bye. <laughs>